It's just all it is, is an imaging technique to, in real time, uh, examine the effects of a drug on a cell. And it gives you a hint as to how the, um, how the drugs are actually working, and whether they're inducing senescence or whether they're inducing uh, apoptosis, for example. So, so it's quite a nice way of screening potentially active compounds for, uh, for treatment uh, for, or drug development in the future. Nice technology, yeah. So we had a review article where we covered all the data in, in, in that. And so, yeah, I think it's, um, again, another useful tool for screening drugs. Um, and um, uh, yeah, with the other things we're doing in the lab, so um, that are, I think are kind of interesting. We've just run, uh, won, sorry, run, won a grant to begin to develop um, programs on organoids. So organoids are really interesting because one of the problems when you take um, cells uh, from a patient and put them into a simple culture and you test drugs against them, you will often find that you get you know, high, high killing. And then you say, well, those drugs are going to work with the patient. You put them into the patient and it doesn't work because uh, drug uh, cells that are in, tre in 3D um, are often resistant to uh, uh, products or drugs or whatever it might be that you're testing as compared to when not, not in a 3D uh, situation. So we have, um, I think, all this, this organoid technology that's coming through. Um, and a lot of companies, actually commercial companies developing the, this strategy as well, where you would be able to take a sample from a patient, uh, grow the cells in, the, in, the, in, in, in you know, a 3D manner, in an organoid, in an organoid uh, structure, test them with drugs and be able to predict these drugs are probably going to work. And that actually does work. So you've got the, te you've got the, the you know, the, ho the, the hologram we've talked about, you've, you've got, um, um, or the, I think it's a hollow monitor, you've got the, um, uh, the organoids, um, you've got the nanostring, and you can imagine you're, you're going to build up these really complex pictures of, of a tumour. And I think it's really exciting that we're going to be able to do this. And those cells now, with, with you know, good FNA techni techniques, you can get lots of live cells, and enough certainly to culture organoids. And then with organoids, you can start mixing them with, with you know, white cells, you can start mixing them with fibroblasts, you can put several cell types together and look at the effects of these things, uh, you know, inter these interactions. So very optimistic we're going to move forward in a good way.